here. Oh, it hit my foot. Is that just a big squirrel down there? Thanks for joining into the round of golf. Go. Yes, sir. Decent. Kick left. Oh, it does kick left. This could be record setting pace. Welcome everyone to the very first video of Muskrat Lynx here on the golf course. We are just gonna play through the front 11 here for you today. We've got some fire graphics as well that you'll see as we're going on through the round here. Just gonna try to play some good golf, show you guys the course, talk about the rules as we encounter them and really just have some fun and show off the course. So here we have hole one, which is hole one dash five. So we're going straight down this way. It's a long par four. We will do well to get away with par here. Just taking this straight at the shed pretty much. If we land it just short, that would be ideal. Try not to hit the house. Or go over the house, has a chance. Yeah, that carried. Ooh, but we might be up against the shed. Let's see what we got as we find the ball. Decent break here, actually. Uh, we don't have to worry about the shed. We don't really have a direct line at the green. I think I'm gonna play a little bit left of these trees and just give myself a nice kind of chip up and down for par. Or I could try to float this up there and maybe get knocked down by the tree branches. I might try that actually. What's our lie? Oh, we got some sticks behind the ball. I'll try to open up the face a little bit and get this one up high and see what we can do. At least give myself a chance at birdie if I can get this on the green. Get over the trees? That's definitely in the tree. Let's see if it's still stuck up there. I don't see it, obviously, sitting around. I feel like it hit the tree like right in here. Hmm, might have to do some uh, scaling to find this ball. What do we got? Oh my God, we're on this side. Heck yeah, we'll take that. I don't know how we got to this side, but we must've got super lucky, so. Okay, anything up and on the green would be a great result from what we thought we had, so let's bump this up there. Settle, no problem, we will take a par. Good result for the first hole, off to a good start. Up next, we've got the first par five. It is gonna be hole 5-2B. We're obviously going from hole five to hole two, and the B represents which side of the house we go on. So the B side is the flagpole side, and the A side is the shed side. So you see kind of 5-2B or 2-5A as we go throughout the video. Uh, B side's definitely a little bit easier because you got more green to work with, so we're looking to just get this down by the flag and we'll be in real good shape on this bar five. Pretty good, coming back a little bit. Good shape, I like that a lot. The front 11 of Muskrat Lynx is definitely a lot harder than the back. So we're looking to kind of stay in it on the first couple holes, don't do anything too destructive. Make a few birdies through the middle and hang on at the end because we've got some tough holes coming up at the end. And anything around par or even under par would be great looking for the course record to see if we can get into the back nine uh, in good shape. All right, second shot. Just looking to get this probably about where the sand trap is actually. There's a lot of trees in play and I definitely can't make it all the way to the green, so. Just kind of want to be just short of that, give ourselves a real good look at birdie. Get through, knock down a little bit. We'll take that bounce. I could have gone anywhere hitting the trees. We definitely went a little bit more dangerously than we probably should have, but it worked out well for us. We've got a chance at birdie. If we can get this on the green, we will be able to card our first birdie of muskrat links on YouTube. So that would be ideal. Land this just in front, let it trickle down to the green. Go, go, yes sir. We will take that every day of the week. One under through two, we are looking good. Off to a near perfect start here through the first couple holes. We've got another tough one here. It's a par four hole two dash four, which is the hole right up against the house with the pavers all around it. So we need to hit this drive pretty far down there to not get boxed out. So we at least have a chance at birdie with the second shot. So a little low draw out under these trees will be perfect. Keep drawing, keep drawing, get left. All right, we might have an angle in from there. I don't mind that at all. A little bit of an angle here. We probably want to get this just left of the green. Um, so we'll go up there to try to get a better shot and see if we can get this close. I don't want to take any of the brush into play here. So just getting it up and over this first little group of weeds down just in front of the green is perfect. Bounce up. Okay, okay, we can work with that. A little chip up and down here for par, no problem. 
Gonna go ahead and pull the pin here since we do have a chance at chipping in for birdie. And the pins are pretty bouncy with these uh, foam balls, so pulling the pin is definitely our best chance. With the break on this green as well, I might play it up to the right and just uh, go a little long and let it come back down. I think that's our best chance. Come on down. Not quite, but we will take our par there, which brings us to one under through three. A good start. Easiest hole on the course now. We have the par three just down the hill here, hole four dash three, and definitely hole in one in place. So we'll go down by the green and see if we can get a better shot. Just a little half swing is all we really need here. Don't want to go long because we're in the trees and that makes for a really tough second shot. So just bump this down there and give ourselves a chance of birdie. Decent. Kick left. Oh, it does kick left. Oh, almost hole in one. That would have been amazing. I have not got a hole in one in competition yet on Muskrat Links. That seemed like it was close. That rolled just behind the hole and it was going hole in one speed. So you got to love it though. We will take a birdie two under through four on the front nine. This could be record setting pace. If we can keep this up, we might have the record on lock. Coming off of that fantastic start, two under through four now, looking at another par three, which is hole three dash five, just over the driveway here. Gonna take a little bit more of a swing than what we just had, but uh, should be decent chance at birdie again if we can get this close. This is a bit of a tough one. No wind to mess with here today though. Short is definitely good because we can bounce off the driveway, so definitely don't wanna go long. Get left a little bit, stay out of the trees, please. Oh no. Oh no, I saw it fall down. It might be like halfway up the trees. Let's see if we can find that thing. All right, I think we found it. We are down at the bottom of this tree. You can just about see it in there. I don't know if I can get a club on it. It's okay if we move it a little bit while trying to get a club on it. We're not following the rules of golf too harshly here. So the question is, do I try to punch drag this out or just take the drop? I think it's probably safest just to take the drop and take our medicine here. So that's what we're gonna do. We'll take our drop, drop back here and uh, See if we can get out of here with a bogey. So at Muskrat Links, essentially everything is just kind of red stakes just to keep pace of play up. So because we went in here, we'll take kind of our two club lengths in about here, no closer to the hole. Drop us down here. Oh, it hit my foot. Uh, rules of golf, cut that out. Nothing happened. So we'll take our drop here about two club lengths away and uh, work with that. All right, here we go. Definitely just want to get this on the green. I'll be very happy to get out of here with a bogey. Let's just not let this turn into double. So we got to concentrate here. Settle, oh, that's gonna be a little long, that's tough. So this is an additional rule of muskrat links. We of course play if the ball is on the fringe, it counts as being in for the next shot. However, if you're really close to the fringe, I don't want people either damaging the fringe with their club or damaging their club on the fringe by hitting a stake or something. So I allow people to move the ball up onto the fringe, but they still have to take the shot. So this doesn't count as in, I still have to take the shot here. That way I don't damage the club or fringe. Obviously it's a little bit of an advantage, but uh, not too major. So we can chip this in for bogey, which is what we're trying to do. So we'll pull out the pin, give this a little bump and see if we can still escape with our bogey here. Yes, we'll take a lip in bogey. Damage has been controlled. On to the next one. On to the next hole, which is the par five, hole five dash two A. So we're going up the shed side of the house this time. Uh, generally, the rule is as long as you stay to the left side of the weather vane up on the roof, that's considered the left side of the house. So if we think we've got uh, enough power here, we can take this kind of directly over the kind of corner of the house here to shave off a little bit of distance. It doesn't gain us too much of an advantage, but that's kind of the, uh, the rule of thumb we're going with. So I think that's what we will try. Okay, that's gonna make the hole a little bit longer here. I'm sorry to the car that was in front of us. Let's carry on. Excuse me? What? It hit the tire, <laughs> it's fine. So as funny as that shot was, this is an important part of golf is kind of reassessing your situation, trying to make the most of it. This is a par five. We're just back another couple of yards here. So again, if we can just kind of just get this up past the house, get over towards the green and gives ourselves, give ourselves a chance at par, that's what we're trying to do here. So the trees are a little bit in play though. So I got to keep this one a little bit lower. 
Not as low as the last shot, but a little bit lower. That's looking pretty good, right down the line. Perfect, all right, we are still in this hole. Let's see if we can get a par. Sorry about that, Joe, it won't happen again, my friend. So talking about some of the mental aspects of golf, what we're essentially playing this hole as now is a really difficult par three from here. If we can get out of here with par, that's our goal. So we wanna hit this shot, kinda of, again, just down by the sand trap would be ideal, so we can see if we can pitch up onto the green for par. So let's try to not get into trouble, play this just over the brush pile, and draw it in just a little bit. That looks like it's gonna be money. Keep drawing, kick left. Don't go through the fairway. Oh, I think that's perfect. That's a great recovery shot, let's go. Ended up in really good shape here. Dodge the bunkers, dodge the crap in the trees. If we can get this on the green, we're out of here for an all world par. So that's what we're trying to do and we've got a great chance at it here. Let's keep our focus and get this five on the cards. Stay up, ah, uh, kick to the right. Now we got some work to do. Right, gonna go ahead and pull the pin. Give ourselves a chance to chip this bad boy in. We're sitting up decently. We're chipping uphill as well. So I like my odds here. It's gonna break a little bit to the left. So I think I'm gonna land it right about in here. And let this just trickle to the hole. And again, see if we can get that all world par. That's how we do it in the pros. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for content like that. Off the car, still making par. Let's go. Next up, after that great display, we've got 2-5B going back to where we came from, this time on the left side of the house. See if we can punch this one up down to the flagpole. And this is very reachable for a par five. So as long as we don't get into trouble, we've got a good chance at birdie here. That's looking pretty good. Nice shot shape exactly as we drew it up. Pretty far drive as well. That's gonna be great. We're definitely gonna be able to reach this green in two. So we got a chance at eagle here. I love that. That ball was absolutely nuked. This is one of the furthest drives I've seen on this hole, actually. So now we have a chance to go for this. Try not to get stuck in the tree this time. That's my real goal right now. That's pretty good. It's gonna be a little out to the left by the mailbox, but very good distance control. Love that. Chance to chip in for eagle. Let's get it. Little up and down here, chipping in for eagle, on for birdie. It's a great situation to be in. I want to land this one probably just on the fringe would be good because we're chipping uphill again. Let's get this in. Settle. Oh, over the back. That is pretty much disaster. And I don't think we're quite close enough for the fringe benefit here. So we're definitely going to have to chip this as is, but we can still chip in for birdie. Let's pull the pin as we do. Grain's kind of running in like this. So that's going to be good for us. We can land this just on the fringe. Clean up our line a little bit here. Going to break a little bit right to left. As long as we get clean contact, we've got a chance at birdie. Nah, I pushed it left. All right, didn't capitalize on that one, but that is A-OK. -okay. We will take a par, put the flag back in, and move on to the next one. Very tricky par three up here next, hole 5-4, which is from here to the hole kind of tucked into the house. Our aiming point's kind of that round bush, that round green low bush there. If we can go just over that, we're gonna be in really good shape and might even catch a piece of the green. So that's what we're going for. We're not gonna bring the tree into play. We're gonna try not to anyway, so let's see. Pretty good, moving a little right. Gonna get some cart path. Gonna have some work to do, but we can see if we can get that up and down for par. Cart path. Walking path, cart path, whatever. We're sitting up nicely here, so I like that, but this is gonna be a tough green to hold. I think what I'm actually gonna do is because there's kind of a divot right here, I don't wanna mess around with landing in any of this box. It's just gonna bounce back to me. I kinda wanna land it up in here, or at least on the bricks to stay up and stay in. So I'm gonna be aiming for the front side of the green here, not really going for the pin at all. But that's kind of what we wanna do to keep our par in play with the best chance as possible. Settle. <gasps> oh, almost gets the lucky bounce, but that's exactly as we drew it up. Bouncing just in front here, keeping the fat part of the green in play. Let's go. Next up, we have hole four. Wait, what is that? Is that a squirrel or a cat? 
Is that just a big squirrel down there? Oh, it's the hawk. What's up, hawk? Anywho, oh, 4-1 up next, hooking this around the house. There is one option where we can play up over the house this way. That is very dangerous though, and honestly doesn't give you that much of an advantage. It doesn't get you too much closer to the hole. So we're gonna play it safe and just play a nice little fade around this corner. Sorry, nice little draw around this corner. As long as we don't hit the plants right in front of us, we'll be a-okay. Looking pretty good, not drawing a ton. Don't go too far. I think we're in good shape. We'll take that. Thanks for joining into the round of golf. Please don't eat my ball. I'd appreciate that. Or if you do eat it, drop it in the hole. Hawk in the background, pretty good drive. It's definitely a sign we're making a birdie here. So if I can get this up on the green, it's all thanks to that hawk we saw. It was decent. Settle, settle. Little long, but not too shabby. We'll take that. Anything that hits the green was probably a good shot, right? This round is still going really well. We're one under with, I think, two holes to play after this. So we definitely want to get away with our par here. We got some nice mowed area right here where we're going to land the ball. That's kind of my aiming point. Bounce up, onto the green, safe with a par. If it goes in, even better. Ooh. Hit the edge of the fringe again. That always... Yeah, sorry guys, I managed to turn off my microphone here in my pocket after hitting that shot, so you're just gonna have to deal with camera audio from here on out. This happens to me. That's the risk you run when aiming here though. If you hit the front of the fringe right at the edge, you get bounced back and then you're screwed. So now we've got some work to do. Pin is coming out for this one. We need to chip this in for par. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. It's not too bad of a chip though. We can definitely hold this out. Get some stuff off the green. Not too much movement in this one, actually. Maybe a little left or right, but we're basically just gonna go straight at it and see if we can get the speed right. Yes, that's how to convert. Keeping this round together, let's go. We now have the toughest test of the round, hole 1-2, an extremely tricky par three with lots of trees in play, the hazard in front. If we can just get this across the hazard anywhere over there, I'll be very happy we could lose all our strokes, all our progress right now. So let's focus on the positives. Just a little chip up over the hazard, and then we're in position A. Don't hit a tree. Oh, oh I hit a tree, but it stayed over. We can work with that. Let's go. Squat! <laughs> Pock noises. This would be huge for our round right about now. Getting this on the green is going to be critical. Uh, it's a good feeder green. The grass is pretty low here. It's a little bit of dirt, more so than any of the other ones. It's got a bit of a ramp going up to it, so I'm gonna be breaking right to left down into the hole. As long as we can hold this green, I'll be extremely happy. Par is a fantastic score on this hole. A little bump down the hill. Nothing crazy. Little bump down the hill, nothing crazy is right. Let's take that par and bring it to the bank. Last hole of the first round at Muskrat Lynx. You got the hawk in play somewhere circling us at this, uh, you know, Yellowstone National Park golf course. I mean, Muskrat Lynx golf course, so. Par is all we really need here, but this is a birdieable hole, so we're gonna give this drive a go and see if we can get deep down there and give ourselves a chance at birdie, which would bring us to two under on the round, which would be insane. Let's give this a smack. Oh, that is crushed. That's just like the first drive, maybe even further. That's definitely further than the drive we had in hole 2-5. We got a chance at birdie. Let's capitalize. Call me crazy, but I'm gonna pull the pin here on this one as well so we have a chance to knock this in for birdie still. But don't get me wrong, we are definitely just trying to get this on the green. Do not want to get screwed over by the fringe again. So we're going to land this one a little bit short, shorter than the last shot we took, or the last approach we had to the green. All right. And that is going to cap things off. One under par, I believe, for the inaugural round at Muskrat Lynx. Join us again for the next one where we play the back 11. We might get attacked by Hawks again. Uh, so it's going to be exciting. One under definitely gives us a chance at the course record. Let's go get it. Have fun out there, everyone.